One of the most fundamental things that we're going to need to know about our class is what type of material we have and how we use that material to make our projects. All of our projects are made out of wood and they're either made out of lumber or they're made out of plywood. Lumber is defined as solid wood. It was a tree not very long ago. Plywood is a bunch of layer of thin lumber that have been glued and pressed into a big what's called sheet that is four feet wide and eight feet long. So here is an example of solid lumber. Notice in this case the edge of the board is not necessarily straight and flat but you can see it's solid wood and it was a tree not very long ago. And here's a piece of plywood. It looks like solid wood but the easiest way to identify this as plywood is by looking at the edge. You can see these stripes or the different plies that have been pressed into a flat sheet. So back to lumber. There are two types. First, there is rough and there is S4S. A rough board means it was a tree not very long ago. The edge may not be straight or 90 degrees and the face may not be flat. S4S it stands for surfaced four sides. That means you or someone has taken a rough board, completed what's called the milling process, or you have used this tool to complete this step. So here is an example of a rough board. The faces are not flat, the edges are not straight, and they're definitely not 90 degrees to the face. There could be dirt, there could be fuzz. This board needs to go through our milling process. Here is a board that has been through our milling process. The faces are flat and the edges are straight and 90 degrees. This board is a great example of S4S or surfaced four sides. So we talked about taking a rough board, use the milling process to make it S4S. Our first and most fundamental step to milling lumber to begin our projects. So that means we use this tool to complete these steps. Well, step one is we're going to use the miter saw to make a rough crosscut. A rough crosscut means about. Rough is not 24 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, it's 23 or 24 inches. After we have cut our board to length, we're going to go to a tool called the surface planer. The surface planer is going to make flat faces of our board and make the board the same thickness down its entire length. We call that uniform thickness. After that, we go to the joiner and we make a straight 90 degree edge. This is one of the most important parts to making sure that our board can be safely cut on the table saw. We have to have a flat face and that face is down and we have to have a straight 90 degree edge and that edge is against what's called the fence. So the last step is to go to the table saw and make our board S4S. So let's look at those steps in action. The miter saw is going to make a rough cross cut. Step two is to go to the surface planer, make flat faces, and a uniform thickness. Step three is going to be to go to the joiner and make a straight 90 degree edge. And lastly, now that you have a flat face and a straight edge, you're going to put the flat face down on the tabletop and the straight edge against the fence, and you're going to make your board S4S on the table saw. The specifics on how to safely use these tools will be in great detail later. But to start, this is just an introduction on how we make a rough board S4S. Thanks for watching. Let's get back in the shop and let's get back to building.